so incredible film. Um, very touching. You know, I've done Christian media for a little while now, and it's not always um, the case where the story is just so raw, like in real. Mm. I told you off camera, I was like, you should mm -hmm. award me. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, I'll start with you, Chris. Um, your character, I love it because it, I think it shows the journey through grief, yeah. um, what could happen when not handled correctly. Yeah. But it doesn't end there. Tell me a little bit about embodying that character. Well, here's my thing. I think that as children, we're loaded up. We, we, we get our backpacks filled with, mm. with things that are either going to help us in life or hurt us in life. And I think that Michael Truitt is a character who his backpack was loaded up with the wrong stuff. And so mm. when he was confronted with grief and disappointment, mm. he became bitter and competitive and, and tried to self-medicate with alcohol. And, um, and the problem is, especially in a community, you know, he's still a part, he can't just disappear. So he's a part of this community that mm -hmm. he's had a responsibility to these two boys. Mm -hmm. He's got this mm -hmm. wonderful woman who's pulling for him and encouraging yeah. him, which is, which is what I love about the movie, because it shows when you have a broken member, mm -hmm. you need to kind of, in a loving way, yeah. give them that second chance to pull up and out of it. Yeah, your character truly inspired me. You know, I feel like I'm that mama bear, and I'll just adopt people wherever oh, I can yeah. to help them. I don't want anyone to, you know, feel abandoned, which is what the kids felt. Um, yeah. Just tell us a little bit about taking on that role of being the caretaker to some boys that have been through some, you know, bad stuff. Yeah. Well, it, it's it's a pleasure to play a character like this, right? Mm -hmm. It's what we all aspire to be yeah. in our real lives, mm -hmm. you know? So it's always good to put on those shoes and, and yeah. live in that skin. Yeah. Helps How was it for you guys doing, um, I think I'd asked you this on the red carpet the other day, but just uh, doing a, a faith-based type of film or where the story, although it was hardcore, <laughs> yeah. it didn't end there. Um, there's hope at the end. There's a transformation. There's, we see a transformation in the characters. Mm -hmm. yeah. How was it for you, Francis? Well, you know, I, I understand that it's considered faith-based, but it's like any work of art, mm -hmm. any piece of music, story. any great book with a story, a movie, a, telev a television show. There, there's a protagonist, and they have to deal with obstacles mm -hmm. and then what gets them over yeah. the finish line yeah. I mean faith mm -hmm. so uh, I think it lives inside all of us mm -hmm. you know spirit mm -hmm. lives inside all of us yeah amen um, last question uh, Chris just if you can share just about the the other side of things because some people will stay at the bottle right they don't ever get over that hump Sure. Um, if you could either share from your own personal life or just kind of from the character. It, it, I mean, for me personally, my walk has been, I grew up in a, a Christian household and uh, my daddy was Catholic and my mom was uh, sort of Pentecostal. So any, oh, wow. any tent revival that came through Reno, Nevada, we were there yeah. Yeah. speaking in tongues. And when I was about 17 years old, I had a prayer of pride. And I remember it very distinctly. Mm. I had a very pretty girlfriend at the time. I was the lead of these plays, and I thought to myself, is this you, God, doing this for me, or is it me? Mm. I said, I'm, I'm going to find out. I'm not going to pray for like six months. I'm just going to kind of go off into the wilderness. And I did this interesting journey that led really to six years of me just kind of not really being, I mean, I always identified as a Christian, but I wasn't in relationship. Yeah. And something happened. Uh, I went on a semester at sea. I went around the world. I learned about Shintoism, Buddhism, Hindu, mm -hmm. Muslim, Judaism. I wanted to understand world religion. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to look at my faith, not as a tradition, but as a choice that I was making. And beyond all the muggity muck and the mm -hmm. hullabaloo and the blah blah <laughs> word yeah. lip service, mm -hmm. I truly believe there is a God in the universe that mm -hmm. loves all of us. And I truly believe that he's got a purpose for our lives. Yeah. And he met me one night, and he knocked on my heart, and he said, I want you back. And for me, that was the Christ narrative. It made the most sense, and it was the one that I just related to. Yeah. And, um, and being in a relationship with a God that I believe loves me 
kind of changes the whole narrative mm -hmm. because it, it lets me know whose I am. And so it's not Hollywood, my agent, it's not anything that's mm -hmm. gonna define who I am, um, which is what ultimately I love about this movie mm -hmm. um, because it's about, and it's sort of, you get to see those two world narratives play out, mm -hmm. both in your character and my character. Your character has that world narrative of love and hope mm -hmm. and being present, and mine doesn't. And the two brothers, you've got one who's all ambition and mm -hmm. the other one who's just like this kid who's f faith and belief and love. And mm -hmm. you get to see how it, yeah. how it plays out. So it's cool. It's a great awesome. message. Thank you so much. Yeah. That was awesome. Thanks yeah. for being a witness. Yes.